Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Almost said Assassin's Creed, but that's not what we're playing right now. Um, why is my... I just have my PlayStation 4 controller plugged in and it's so nice. I don't have to worry about the bat batteries or the battery pack or anything. Um, well... Oh, are those... The reg... Oh my gosh, do I have to upgrade? For every single bow? Like, upgrade the pouch for every single bow? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Carry capacity. Oh my gosh. Raccoon bone and rich meat. I don't really see a point in upgrading them until I need it. Shows a cracked and battered vessel once dear to the old ones. Shows stars in the legend Odyssey. Sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. Data points. Server, serve, and they live. Oh yeah, 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 that's what. Okay, we got that. More hunting ground. So should we go crush the patriarch? It's level thirty. I'm not gonna go crush the patriarch yet. I gotta level up. Holy cow! Oh wow, that's really big. That's big level. High level quest. Wow. No, thank you. Alright, well, I am going to explore this city and shop. Need to buy some blaze canisters. Oh, it's just a... Hmm. Just a box. Sculptor box. You are useless. Are you a merchant? No, you sell fruit. Are you gonna do a show? Are you a fire breather? You look like a fire breather. You've got like the oil in your hand and everything. Do it. A child! Oh my gosh! Your eyes look weird. Hello! You're looking for artifacts. Oh! Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banu. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Benu rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. Um, you said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes, I've been to Ben Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avar. Wow. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Yeah. Such are the way of people. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. I don't figures. think I picked up a Banuk figure Simple yet. Simple wood sculptures made by Arna, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. I don't. You ready? Let's trade then. Ooh, 
Ooh, and they are, uh, specific ones. I cannot confess. Punishment, the vision, mother, I name you, my claim. Hmm. <gasps> more, more, more? Unless I'm just, unless this is wrong. Come on back if you find any Banuke goods. You there, Outlander? Do you have relics? Uh, nope. I don't think that actually added anymore. So I don't need to buy them anymore? That's okay. They weren't expensive. Hmm. Okay. But I'll try to try. I'll kind of try to remember. Just a bunch of metal flowers down here at the vantage point. To trade. I do want. Don't pass up these goods. Find goods for a fair price. You'll like what oh. I have for sale. I promise. I pay well for the new relics, Outlander. What? Except to the most eclectic of merchants. Dirty basket. Uh, what? <laughs> Interesting. these guns what's their story why what just some able-bodied adventurers preferably with no friends or family but I'm not choosy that doesn't sound promising oh there outlander names why Vilgo. do you have that over your eye did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, <laughs> stop there, if you want to <laughs> I, I only meant oh my a well-molded <laughs> such as you. Bye. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor- A well-molded woman. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh... I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Uh huh. But those Banuke are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. <clears throat> so now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Um. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. You hire other people to but explore? You send other people yeah. to do your exploring. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. More of an opportunist. Girl. Nora, girl. <clears throat> <laughs> He's trying so. <laughs> we live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. Okay. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. Uh-huh. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learned how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. I'm not made of straw. Um, but that's faulty, because, like, the Banuk could be like, they could tell him how to do it, and then he could put a price on it, and the Banuk tribe could go, screw that, and tell everybody else they want for free. What can you tell me about the Banuk? 
And the Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> yeah, you just... You make a terrible they merchant. To live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation. It's like chipping them out of the stuff. Maybe they're not they interesting. for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. So, I'm gonna do this, but I'm not gonna tell him about it. You know what I mean? If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Nah. Uh, um, the east. It's if a good it's thing true, you're not the diplomat. Among machines without fear in this camp. Well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Okay, so I'm gonna go there and be like cool and then i'm gonna leave is this the sun king i was just gonna go look at the spire but he has the look of a garb of a sun king i don't know hi i'm just gonna walk over here you're definitely some sort of priest or something at least and i can just walk up here and it's not a problem at all. I'm gonna look too, my man. What is that? I wanna go look at that. I know it's the spire, but ooh, they've got like an advanced pulley system. Do those chains do anything? Do they pull those bridges up? So like a moat, sort of? Oh, look at the pretty blue. I feel like this should be something that I might stumble upon later. Oh. Oh, oh, well, how about that? Let's see. You have a name. Are you that guy I talked to? They read. Didn't want to startle you. No. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're the guy. I heard of the tragedy that befell your tribe. The sun hung low that day as we traveled back. So, this is the temple of the sun priests. Where we offer our daily prayers for balance. I'm afraid only Karja can participate, but you are welcome to observe. Don't worry, I'm used to it. Meh. What are these prayers? To recognize the sun is to recognize we live in renewal. By its rise and fall, we determine what to take up and what to set aside. Offered to its pure heat, the skin peels. And old time is burned away. We treasure the blisters. That, that sounds, sounds dumb. Painful. <laughs> well, there is no glory without sacrifice. Yeah, but that's dumb. Like the priests must not must not live long. They must all get skin cancer and die if they literally just stand out in the sun all day long. There's no there's no glory in forcing yourself to go through pain. Glory is gained through like. You know, being put in a difficult situation, sort of, like, a difficult situation is happening, and you can offer to put yourself in it and rise above it, but it's not gained from, like, just, like, I don't know, stabbing yourself multiple times. Like, you don't gain glory from that. The temple looks out on the tower across the valley. Why? Ah, that's the spire, guiding us forever skyward, I want to meet the king! Gleaming with the rays of the sun at noon. It is said that the spire's shadow lay across this mesa when our ancestors came to the valley, searching for a home. Thus, sun and spire joined, showing the Karja where to build the dawn of Meridian. Cool story. Always illuminating, you read. There is a matter... Oh! <laughs> <that's> <laughs> I like his gestures. 
boldness. You don't have to squirm. <laughs> He's definitely okay. squirming. <clears throat> One of our brethren, my friend Naman, has stepped from the sun's light in protest. I've supported his efforts as much as I can, but would you speak with him? What am I gonna in do? The sun ring? I'll see what I can do. What do you freaking mean? What do you what do you what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh oh hey, it's you. You're right there. How about that? Look how beautiful this place is. They really have done wonders with it with this oasis in the desert. Ooh, hey, stairs. Let me jump in. No, you can't give me stairs and then not let me do this stuff. Hmm. The sun ring. What sort of symbolism does this place have? Raids, cages, Wait, what? sacrifices. Yes, yes, you're very friendly. <laughs> What's this? Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you to speak to me. Is this a memorial? Why, hello there. Ooh, hey. Excuse me, excuse me. The Sun Faith. All over the oh, seven articles of the Sun Faith. All over the world, over all the world, rises and sets the great sun, as is plainly seen. To all plants, animals, and machines, and men, it gives life, as is plainly seen. Of all the tribes, none have scaled such heights as the Karja, as guided by the sun. Witnessing these things to be true each day, celebrating these things each day, we believe in the sun and its light gladly, and without question. Dumb. Uh, you always got a question. Only the sun's rightful heir, born of the radiant line that dates back to Aramon, the founder, is the speaker for the sun. To him, the sun desi sun's desires are revealed, and from his lips, his desires are acted upon by men. He shall be known as the sun king, and his words shall be law. And everything's always couched in, like, the men phrase. And then, like, later generations are like, obviously by men, it means humans. It means everybody. I'm like, then they should have said humans. They should have said people. <laughs> it's always kind of frustrating when you read it, and you're like... As a woman, and you're like, I, I mean, sure, I guess, if you want to say it like that. <laughs> In all things, we accept the sun's judgment. We offer our bared skin to it, so we might burn our sins away. Dumb! We partake of its renewal. Okay, I shouldn't be hating on a different culture. I'm just, right now, I'm just seeing the painfully obvious things that are designed almost to hurt people. And, I mean, 2020 hindsight, right? 2020 hindsight, but, like, still, it's like, maybe it's not dumb, it's a cultural difference that I don't really understand, but seriously, that's not healthy. Like, standing outside to get blisters on purpose? Like, what's the life average, like, like birth to death ratio for these people? Like, how many of them get skin cancer? <laughs> Oh, we partake of its renewal, we wear its heat for a time, as our skin bears its flesh, its bronzed armor, we are made strong. In the cracking and peeling away of our old selves, we are made new. In the sun's light, we shall speak only in truth, we shall strike only in righteousness, and we shall act as we believe the sun so tasks us. When the shadow falls across us, we shall always remember our illumination, we shall not cast blame for ill fortune, we shall endure. Um, I mean, that makes sense. That's a good thing. That That's a good premise. A lot of religions, like, you could argue that there's a lot of bad things about religion, but a lot of them have good premises as well. Or at least good statements, you know? Like, hey, something bad happens, don't blame it on anybody else. You know? And it's like, you don't even have to blame... It says, it says, we should not cast blame. You don't even have to blame yourself, you know? Sometimes bad things happen. You just gotta endure it. I like that, you know? You don't cast blame on somebody else, on a god figure, on, on, on yourself just happens you know but sometimes you know you gotta be like okay i did a bad there but sometimes you just gotta be like you know what sometimes life sucks <laughs> we do this because there are two halves of nature sun and shadow and to deny one is to deny the whole of things as a twilight time came before us ending the world of its ancients so shall a twilight time come again for this is the cycle of things the buried shadow shall rise up to eclipse the sun's light and usher in great and terrible change even knowing this we are steadfast in our belief and trust that the sun will again bring a new dawn as it did for our founders so long ago holy meridian shall forever be the seat of the karja the city of the sun and the spire venerated as the mark of its founding a sun king born of the radiant line shall always sit upon its throne for without a speaker of the for without a speaker for the sun 
Its will is clouded. For either of these to be denied is to invite a twilight time upon us. So killing your sun king is uh, going to possibly be a catalyst for the things to go wrong in this game. Clearly the Kaja are the children of the sun and preeminent in its gaze, but so too does the light touch upon the barbarian tribes of the north, east, and south. It is the speaker of the sun's duty to interpret if the sun's gaze is directed in approval or reproach. So determined, it is the duty of the Kaja to carry out the sun's will, even in places where light does not reach. See, that's a bummer. That's a big bummer right there. Whatever religion or creed or whatever you live by, you shouldn't put that on somebody else. <laughs> like, they're like, so these barbarians, uh, you know, they don't believe the way we do and they don't know our rules, but uh, when they break them, we're gonna kill them and use them as blood sacrifices. Just gives too much power to the people, to a certain group of people, you know? Gives them too much entitlement. I hate that statue of Juran. It's not enough to vandalize. Should take it down. Well, see, I hear things like I've been hearing the things about Ersa, right? But I didn't, I didn't put two and two together on who these people were. I only heard her name like once. I just want to know more about the things that go on. Hi, Lenora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close. Like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. Ah! I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. What? <laughs> what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram. Who seeks to visit the shrine of kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. Yeah. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb. A call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Clint Hawk's perch there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. No, I, you're speaking in riddles, my guy. You want me to remove machines so that people can put a glyph for machines because you feel like the Kaja ways are a bit uh, ham-handed, uh, tight-fisted. About mourning the lost loved ones um, for different cultures. So he's still technically a priest, but he's protesting. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? They were afraid. Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests. But you still wanted to be one? 
I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. Huh. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Interesting. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. Interesting. So, yeah, like, I mean, you can wash as much as you want, but your robes are literally covered in blood. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories? To well, and I was thinking he was wanting to honor the people who were specifically sacrificed here. Oh, you're the Banuk and you are the Asram lady. So this is where they had their sacrifices then. What's this? Maybe let's open outfit. What? Oh yeah, I just got them. Oops. Uh, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I'll do that. Anyway, um, can I only have nine hundred and ninety-nine shards, or is that just like luck? Blaze! More blaze! Fast travel packs, sweet deal. Oh no, I can't have more than. Okay, I was worried it was like Legend of Zelda, right? Where like it blocks you like 99? 99, 99 rupees, and you're like, no! I, sh I don't have any more treasure boxes. Luck of the hunt? What? Why? So it says I've got two of these maps now. I guess I could sell them back? I don't know. So many quests! So the Kaja lost people here too at the this sacrificial altar. I don't know if it's just supposed to look kind of stained, but I feel like that it's literally been like glazed in blood, you know? Like so much blood was spilled there that it's like stained in the wood forever. Okay, let's try this one. Mystery boxes. Was there anything? I was thinking about doing the hunting goods one. Okay, hang on. So, okay. This altar is basically the center of the city. Okay, good to know. Well, it's okay, it's not the center of the city. The center of the city is just outside. Good to know. What's this? Ah. But from here, I can probably access a lot of... Okay, yeah, we'll go this way. Okay. So there, I thought maybe it was like a four corners type thing, where like, at each four of the four corners, you would have a door. But it's not like that. Thanks for the stuff. Cool outfits! The car just needs some time to warm up to you, is that what you said? This is really cool. 
It's like a far distance. Shadow Karja, what? I don't know anything about Shadow Karja. What is this? I need to know. There are no shadows here. Your face is rendering. Oh my gosh. Oops. Resources, please. Perfect, an unlimited supply of plays. Alright, I've got ten now. Would you like Okay, so Check as I was waiting for my dog to start barking, I was kinda of spinning around in place. You still probably hear him. But this is a blood stain, definitely. And there's a quest marker right there. And these people are just having a grand old party. You there! Can you help me? Why? 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 You're the one the Vanguard has been calling You're beautiful. About. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. What? If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's I love sword. the purple accents in his beard. Matches his head thing. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything She is else. so It was giving. brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my stool. Nah. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Nah. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. What? How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Well, your nephew is with traitors and murderers, so I wouldn't be concerned about looking him in the face. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Interesting. That's pretty big of you. So many quests now. How exciting. Check out these wares. Check out these guns. I can't not hear it every time they say it. Okay, actually, let's equip my bow that I like. You'll like what I have for sale. I promise. Um Oh. <laughs> That's been a while. Oh man. Did I get some XP for that? No? Okay. Oh no, that was the errand I had set for myself. What was it that I needed? I don't know. I can't remember what those objects are. What that one on the far right is. Um, so many quests. Okay, let's, uh, while we're here. Oh, uh, mm, actually, mm. Okay, we've been exploring a lot, and it's probably a good time to call it, but I'm still gonna give a- I'm gonna run around the city for a bit before actually going out. It looks like there might be some sort of, like, wall going over here, like freaking Great Wall of China stuff. Um, but it only goes, like, I don't know. I do want to go see the spire, too, if I can, and I think it's across this little bridge, and then there's another little bridge, maybe? Maybe. But this is exciting! There's so much to see! And there's like all these little towns! Oh my gosh, look, there's like a, there's like two little towns down here! Alright, I'm excited. This is gonna be cool. I've been wanting to get to Meridian for a while. So, thank you guys for joining me! I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one!